today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make realistic grass and blender that you can use for all different types of renders and projects so yeah let's get it to start off you can open a new project and we're gonna insert a plane so press shift a go to mesh and then press plane now just resize it to how big you want it to be and then we're gonna start adding the grass after you've resized it go to the side right here and click this icon called particle properties then click this plus icon click here and this is what the grass is actually going to be so as you can see it looks really thin right now so we're going to increase this number i usually put mine at about 50k so it looks really full and yeah as you can see the grass is really straight and i want a more realistic look so i'm going to click advanced go down to physics and i'm going to change this number right here to make it have a couple curls and just move in a bunch of different directions so yeah this looks much better now from here, I'm just gonna make the grass a little shorter. So I'm gonna go to hair length right here and put this down, yeah, like somewhere around here. That's fine. So yeah, that's just the basic grass and we're gonna add some texture now. To make this look as realistic as possible, instead of just making the grass just a green color, we're gonna find a grass texture. Head over to Google and just search up grass texture and you can find a bunch of different ones to choose from. I, I think I chose this one or something like that, something like this. These are all pretty good. I wouldn't, I don't really like the lighter ones, but you could pick any one you want. Once you selected the one you like and you've downloaded it to your computer, just click this right here, press new, and now press base color, image texture, and open the file right here. After you've imported the texture, as you can see, the color hasn't changed, but we just have to change our viewport. So go up to here and click this circle right here. As you can see now, the grass is the color, we, um, the color of the texture. And to edit it a little bit more, just to make it a little darker and look full, you can put specular down if you want, put roughness up. You could just play with these settings and make it look as good as possible. From here, your grass is pretty much done, but I want to add a couple plants and flowers and stuff like that. So we're actually going to download a plugin for Blender that has plants, flowers, all these different stuff that you could use. Head over to this website called Grasswall 3D and press download G-Scatter. After you click that, it might prompt you to sign up, but after you sign up, it should bring you to this page. Download, make sure you download the right version for your Blender. So just verify which version you have and download it. After you import it, go to this search bar right here, just type it in and you should see it right here. Um, just make sure it's selected in this checkbox. Once you've done that, press this arrow right here, go down to this G scatter icon. You should see it after you imported it and then press this icon right here and select on the plane. From here, you can click this icon to see all the planes you have. If you don't see any here, that just means you need to download a little bit. So just go to this tab right here, download free assets, and just download any one of these. Just click on it and then press download. So yeah, once you've done that, click this icon and pick whichever planes you're gonna use. So for this video, I'm gonna use this one. Then press scatter selected and then press okay. Now you should see a little menu on the side and you should see all the planes scattered all over the plane. So yeah, from here you could just play with these settings and yeah you can select how um, far you want them apart from each other how many you want on there so i'm just gonna do yeah I'll, put, I'll leave it here actually and then i'm gonna make it a little bigger so it can actually show through the grass so i'm just gonna put this up and yeah as you can see it doesn't look that good right now i'm actually going to select the grass and put the length of the grass down maybe to about 40 something yeah that's good and then i'm gonna go back in here and put this down put it up a little bit more yeah just so we have some plants and stuff on there and yeah this doesn't look bad so now when you render it make sure you render it in cycles so it'll actually look better so to put it in cycles mode to render just click this icon go to render engine and then render in cycles um, obviously add lighting and stuff like that, but it'll look much better in cycles. So yeah, that's just how you make a quick, easy grass you could use for any different type of renders you want to do. And yeah, like and subscribe.